Ladies and gents, this is the first video I've done for Great Eastern Effects, and it's the Designer Drive you heard on all the guitar parts in the track at the beginning of the video. Now, the idea with this pedal is to solve a problem, basically, and the problem is that some of your drives work with some of your amps, but not with others. And this pedal gives you like some real cool ability to fine tune both the gain and the level like most drives do, but also the tone in ways that not a lot of pedals do. So when we look at the controls here, we got gain, level, those are self-explanatory. We got an edge control here. That's a top end control, but it works in a few different ways. It's, it's not like a typical tone control that just shuts down high end when you turn it down and then when you turn it up, it's just really bright. I actually found that it alters the, the type of high end and kind of makes it sound like a little bit more like hard clipping when you turn it all the way up. And sure enough, doing a little bit of research, they say here, in the press release for the pedal. The edge knob controls the top end of the frequency spectrum simultaneously adjusting two different filters, a gentle treble roll off and a more intense cut in the high presence region, as well as subtly affecting the aggressiveness of the circuit's hard clipping diodes, letting you dial in precisely the desired amount of bite, grit, and presence. So I actually found that when I cranked this up, it got bright, 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 and then all of a sudden when it was like up way high, it sounded super ampy to me, like with certain amp settings that I had going and it worked really well. Probably the most powerful control on the pedal though is this width control. So this is a stepped control. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different settings, all the way from thin to fat. And this is gonna let you fine tune kind of the lows and the mids of the pedal so that you can dial in just the right amount of tight and just the right amount of fatness for whatever you're plugging into. If you're plugging into something like an AC30, you know, you might wanna dial back the top end a bit, but you might also wanna have a little bit more lows going because the amp has like not a lot of lows in the preamp. Whereas like a lot of old Fender amps, they kind of blow up and if you hit them with a drive or a clean boost or something that's got too much low end, you know what happens. They just get really bloated sounding and they don't really work. So depending on whether you're using single coils, humbuckers, hot pickups, low output pickups, what your amp is, what your speaker is, you can dial in that low cut, okay, called the width control, and also the edge control to get just the right tone with whatever your guitar and amp setup is. At least that's the idea, but I found in practice it worked really well. I used a bunch of different amps. I used my Top Hat King Royale, which is like a uh, AC30 style amp. I used my PT100 on the clean and on the dirty channels, and I used my old Marshall JMP50 as well for a few parts. So I tried to get a smorgasbord of amps going there with this pedal and a few different guitars as well. So I'm gonna run you now through a bunch of those sounds that I got on the song at the beginning of the video, soloed outside of the mix. I'll show you some of the individual parts in detail, kind of what I was doing with the amps on those different sounds, and also play a little bit more through the pedal. Let's get to it. It's the Design a Drive from Great Eastern FX. So I just cut the first part in the song at the beginning of the video, and uh, I'm using my old Marshall JMP50 up there. And uh, I got it set with the volume on about five on uh, input one, volume one. Um, so it's just like, uh, you know, partially breaking up sound. And I used the design of drive with uh, this control right here, which controls the low end and how much low end is in the signal on the halfway setting. And it's just great because I can really dial in the perfect amount of tight and fat for this particular overdrive tone. I've got the uh, the drive or gain control is on about uh, just a little over nine o'clock, so, uh, and the volume's on about uh, three o'clock, like 93, the way I would set a, uh, a tube screamer, really. And then I've got the, uh, the tone uh, for the top end back at about 11 or 10.30. <laughs> It sounds really good to me right there for this particular part, which I mostly played on the neck pickup with this tone. And check out what happens if I bring this control that cuts lows or shaves off lows all the way up and then all the way down. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so you can hear how I was really able to just dial in just the right amount, in my opinion, of low end for this particular sound to keep the drive tight with the neck pickup. Let me show you what my Rocket Archer, which is a great pedal, and I have it on my pedal board for years, what it sounds like uh, at the setting I have it at now, which is kind of my, my lead boost. <laughs> It's a little muddier to me, and I actually prefer the sound that I've dialed in. For this particular sound, uh, yeah, I like this. This is clearer, and it's got all the fat that I need, and it just works really good. So the designer drive works as advertised. I designed the drive. So I just did uh, a rhythm part at the end of the song, a heavy rhythm part with my SLO 100. And the SLO 100, great classic overdrive amp, but it's not the, the tightest amp in the world. This is with the gain on four. <laughs> And the pedal's off right now. So I decided I would try and boost it and tighten it up a little bit. And so I'm using the second from the thinnest setting for this sound. And I've got the gain on about 10 o'clock, the volume on about 2 o'clock, and then the edge control I got on about 11 o'clock now. I turned it up a little bit to get a real aggressive cut. And here's what it sounds like when I turn it on. <laughs> So it's really adding a lot of hair and excitement to the sound while actually tightening it up and still adding a little bit of gain. So it worked really well for this part. Once again, I could you know, uh, use the, uh, this control and set it a little thicker, the width control, but you're gonna lose tightening. <laughs> So I just cut the two lead guitar parts on the song at the beginning of the video, and I thought I would use both the cleaner channel one and more Fendry channel one on my PT100, and also uh, the drive side, and it's much more martially. And I used vastly different settings on the design and drive. So for the, the cleaner part, uh, I had the gain almost max on the pedal. I got a little bit of grind going on the amp, but most of the gain was coming out of the pedal. And uh, I was kicking the front end pretty good, and I had the, the uh, actually the bite control, or excuse me, and I had the edge control turned way, way up, like almost three quarters of the way up, and it got a really, really cool sound. So let's check that out. <laughs> Now completely contrasting, then I went over to the drive channel on my amp and I got a good kind of rhythm drive going. I'll show you what that uh, sounds like right now. So this is without the pedal. And then turning on the designer drive.
and I got uh, you know more appropriate tone for that shreddy stuff that I did kind of towards the end in the last solo. I just really wanted it to sing but still be warm. So for that, I backed the edge control way, way back down to nine o'clock. I've got the drive or gain, excuse me, on about halfway, and I've got it on the second thinnest setting, which seems to work well for you know tight leads. Coming to you all the way close to Cambridge, England uh, from Great Eastern Effects. It's the Designer Drive, super cool sounding pedal. I didn't mention this uses super high quality like film resistors and fancy capacitors and Neutrik jacks and alpha pots, really good stuff that it's made out of. The company motto is serious fun and I like to have serious fun. I like, I like to have a good time. That's basically my goal in life. So I'm all for it. You can check it out further at the link in the video description below, and you can check out other great Eastern effects at that link as well. The Designer Drive. Please hit subscribe if you haven't hit the little bell beside the subscribe. You'll get an alert when I put out a new video. Thanks for watching, you guys. I am Pete Thorne. Take care.